What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to part 6 of Battlefield 2042 weapons in real life. Today we're taking a look at the sniper rifle category and despite having only a few of them, I believe only 5, this video is going to be interesting since sniper rifles have always been popular and badass and they're gonna shine between other weapon categories. But before we get into the video, just a quick reminder to let you know that liking the video has an enormous positive impact on the channel. It helps the video to reach out to more people, so go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also, I do all kinds of videos here, from tips and tricks to tier lists and news around Battlefield franchise, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. With all that said, let's get right into the video. So, sniper rifle number one is going to be SWS-10, which is called the Sako TRG M10 in real life. It's a Finnish bolt-action multi-caliber sniper rifle unveiled in 2011 designed and built to be able to provide tremendous amounts of accuracy in long ranges. The weapon is extremely versatile. It offers several calibers and barrel length. For example, we got the 308 Winchester Magnum alongside 762 NATO rounds and 338 Lapois. The weapon has a handful of attachments coming with the weapon to enable the operator to fully customize the weapon for the mission at hand. According to Sako's website, Changing the barrel is pretty much a piece of cake and doesn't need that much of training. The cost of one unit is somewhere around 8,000 euros, which is quite a big number. And in Battlefield 2042, SWS is really one of the most popular sniper rifles and stands as a middle line for agility and accuracy. Next up, we've got the DXR-1, which is called DSR-1 in real life. It is a compact bullpup sniper rifle designed, manufactured, and marketed by the German DSR Precision GmbH company and was also marketed by AMP Technical Services as a sniper rifle for police sharpshooters. It's been adopted by German counterterrorist unit GSG-9 who are well known I would say, especially if you are into special forces you've certainly heard their name. It uses multi-calibers from 7.62 NATO to 300 Winchester, 308 Winchester Magnum and 338 Lapua, so it is pretty much identical to the SWS when it comes to cartridges. It is currently in service in Denmark, Malaysia, Spain, and Taiwan. And in Battlefield 2042, it is the most accurate sniper rifle with the lowest amount of bullet drop possible. In number 3, we've got the NTW-50, which is called the Denel NTW-20 in real life. It is a South African anti-material sniper rifle developed by Denel Mechem in 1990s. It is intended for deployment against targets including parked aircraft, power lines, light vehicles, bunkers, and personnel. It's been in service since 1998, which is quite a lifetime, and it's shocking to see this as a main weapon in Battlefield 2042, but it is what it is. The weapon is extremely easy to work with, changing the barrel does not need any specialized tools, it can also fit into two bags for carrying, and there is also a muzzle brake on the end of the barrel, which can absorb approximately 50-60% to 60 of the recoil. The weapon weighs over 34 kilograms, which is a big number for a rifle, but might be acceptable knowing the damage it is capable of doing. In 2042, it's almost a one-shot kill guaranteed and makes people want to rage quit, so use it with caution. Next up, we've got the XCE bar, which is called the TTS Exceed. It is a bullpup bolt-action sniper rifle designed by Hubbard Schneider and manufactured by Tech Target Schneider GmbH since 2021 and mainly for the civilian market. The Exceed is stated as being the result of many years of experience in the development and production of sports and precision rifles. It is also advertised as a modular sniper system with many parts which can be changed without a special toolkit or anything like that. The weapon is manufactured in both compact and standard variants and has a fully adjustable trigger with gloves friendly features. The thing is just wild in my opinion and looks to me like a futuristic sniper and it makes sense to see this one in the game, especially in a game like Battlefield 2042. It's also the fastest sniper rifle in the game which makes it a very good aggressive choice for playing in a close range as a sniper. Last but not least, we've got the Gold Sniper Magnum, which is a bolt-action sniper rifle designed by the German company Goldmatic GmbH. The rifle is available in both tactical and sports variants. It was designed by the professional German gunsmith Gottfried Petrel in 1986. Currently, the weapon is in service in two countries, law enforcement and police forces in Germany and Lithuanian armed forces also have this weapon in service. In Battlefield 2042, it is a fast sniper rifle with low bullet drop, which makes it a balanced weapon compared to its counterparts. With that said, Part 6 of Battlefield 2042 Weapons of Real Life has come to an end. It is truly a pleasure to get to know weapons more. Truth be told, I've learned so much just by making these videos and I hope the same goes for you guys. The links to the previous parts of the series is down in the description. 
make sure to give him a look as well and for the last part we go over the tactical weapons we've got some shotguns and rail gun in the video so stay tuned for that as well and until next time guys stay cool